What's going on guys? Wayne's Workshop here and in today's video I'm going to show you the magic of acetone vapor smoothing your ABS prints. So if you're like me and you hate sanding this might be the solution for you. Now this method does not uh, entail any heat. I am not going to heat up my acetone. Most vapor smoothing videos are about heating up your acetone in either a pot or like a, a, a frying pan sort of method or even the heated bed off your own printer. I don't do that. Uh, it stinks bad enough already and the vapors are pretty bad so even when, you, uh, when you're like heating it up it gets even worse. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a vapor box with just this box is actually one of those cheap storage boxes which is resistant to ABS and I got some contents in this box that I'm going to use to make it and I'll show you what you need. So what are you going to need for that? One of those storage plastic box thingies. Uh, this one is a pretty good size because I got a pretty big building platform so this will fit most of my prints. Some of these micro vinyl cloth thingies. These are used to line the inside of the box so that you have something to spray your acetone on and it absorbs it and it stays there for a while. Some acrylic caulking to seal up the top so that all the vapor stays in. Some Velcro so that we can stick that with some hot glue on the microfiber cloth so we can stick them on the inside of the box so that they stay nice and flat against these surfaces so your print won't be touching any of the uh, acetone cloth. Some Vaseline. And last but not least, acetone. First you start measuring how big your cloth needs to be. So put it in and for this side I'm about halfway of this cloth and do that for the rest of the walls. Also cut them to size. Now that you've cut them all up it's time to add some velcro to one side, the uh, smooth side, and then also the other part of the velcro to the inside of the box and then line them all up and put them inside. Now we have all four sides lined with some of that fiber cloth and you can use your leftovers to line the bottom if you want, but do know that if you put something inside, uh, place it on a non-plastic block. I have this old uh, heat sink that I could place on the inside here and then place one of your ABS prints on top of that. Otherwise it would be like soaking in acetone and this would melt into a mush. So don't do that. Also the closer a part is to one of the walls, that side will go faster. So if you do line a bottom, uh, please raise it up to a level that's the similar distance to this bottom as it would be to either side of it. Now, the vapor could still escape because this is just a normal closing box and it's still open on all the lines. So we are going to caulk it up. But before we start caulking the lines here, uh, we're going to close this up eventually. But if we do it prematurely, then the caulking would bond on this side also. So to prevent the two from sticking to each other, I'm going to smear like the, this whole line in with, with the Vaseline so that it won't stick 
to the caulking. Now we got the Vaseline on there and now it's time for caulking. Now grab the gun, caulking gun, and then line the inside with a nice line of caulking. You don't have to do it too thick, just enough for it to seal up so that it that the vapor can't escape from the box. And if you've done a little bit too much, you can use some water to smooth it out. Just wet your finger a little bit and you can smooth that line right on out. Spread it around. It's the same stuff you use to uh, fill up seams in your foam armor. Uh, normally you could use silicone caulking for a sealant like this, but silicone and acetone are not the best of friends. So best to stay away from that combination. And then you can close it up and push down a little bit. The Vaseline will keep it from not sticking to one another, but it will give the indentation so that it becomes a tight seal. And you do the same for this line in the middle. The other side, that top side, I Vaseline up. I am going to do a little line of the caulking right here. There we go. A little bit of water. Smooth that sucker out. Then close this one. Press down a little bit to get that indentation. And now becomes everybody's favorite game, the waiting game. Now depending on what type of brand uh, you have, the drying times may vary. This one takes about five hours to dry. So do something else while we wait. We'll return the next day for this one. Movie magic. And it's the next day and we're back to the vape box. Now we've set this up to dry with the Vaseline so it wouldn't stick and it comes apart real nice. And we can check the side here and it's uh, still a little bit of tacky but it, uh, it's dry enough that we can proceed. So I put some of my acetone in this squeezer bottle. Oh, I'm dripping already. What I'm gonna do is I am going to hold one end. This just makes the process a little bit easier. You can already see it. I'm just gonna spray that cloth full of acetone. There we go. And you do that for all four sides. and you can be pretty royal with this. I have two tracer guns here. One, I will not vapor smooth. The other, will go in and we can see a comparison. So I got this old heat sink that I'm gonna use to lift this up off the uh, bottom. And I'm gonna put this in, not letting it touch any of the walls. This seems to be this looks to be pretty sturdy now. Seems all right. So now we are going to let the vapor do its work. I'm gonna close this off. And if you really wanna be sure that it's completely airtight, grab a garbage bag, pull it over the top, and you can even grab some elastic band to really tighten that garbage bag being careful not to disturb the bin too much because your model might tip over there we go now we will leave this for I'm gonna leave this one for about half an hour and uh, we'll return and we'll see what we got all right it's been half an hour uh, since I put this in now a word of warning before you open it, be sure to have one of these, a respirator. 
not those crappy paper face plate thingies. They're crap. Get a proper respirator. There's a reason that I didn't put this in the required items list is because you, if you're a prop maker, just get one of these and get it over with. Your, your health is worth it. These go for like 30 or 40 bucks and you can't get a set of new lungs for that price. So get one of these because once I open this box, the accumulated half hour of acetone vape will hit your face. So do this in a well ventilated area or outside, but even though wear one of these, get one of these, do it, do it. Oh yeah. It is actually quite sticky now because all of the ABS is kind of soft and smooth. The edges are melted. Um, once you take it out, the acetone is still doing its thing here now. So leave it. Uh, leave this for about an hour to fully harden back out and then see um, if you might need it longer. Maybe you have a more dense model. If you have a less dense model with lesser infill, then maybe do it shorter. This one is 10% uh, infill. So the internal supports are kind of keeping the model nice and tight together, even though the model is kind of soft. And if I would press I think too hard you could see start seeing fingerprints in it so we'll let this harden back out and then we will compare it to the other gun okay it's been about an hour and it's fully hard again it's not uh, sticky anymore and you can already see after just half an hour of this acetone vapor smoothing non-heated this was printed in point two and look at that shine and you can barely see like print lines. The print lines that you kind of see are actually layers that are beneath the top layer because this is a neutral color um, ABS. There is no uh, pigment added to it. And if I hold the other tracer gun that is just fresh off the printer, you can just see a notable difference. If you get close and personal with this one you can really see the ringing and print lines you know if you would paint this you'd really see all the print lines still and with this vapor smooth just look at that and this is just half an hour if you do more uh, you would start to lose some more details And that's kind of a, a waste because the downside of this vapor smooth method method is that uh, hard edges and sharp edges they get kind of rounded out so it becomes uh, a lot more softer what you could do if you want to keep them is maybe do a shorter vapor smooth and then do the rest uh, manual sanding like on the bottom here you can still see print lines because it was resting on uh, this side and I didn't put in any cloth in the bottom. So you could still do that, but it would be really close to the acetone though, so it might turn into a mush rather quickly. So use with caution. Now I took some primer and I sprayed it on both of the guns. This one is the vapor smooth one, as you can see, and the print lines, you barely see them. And with this one, the non vapor smooth one, you can like clearly see those lines just cutting in there and it's just not the case with the vapor smooth one you can still kind of see it but this was again only half an hour and you know experiment not every abs type responds the same way there are many manufacturers out there so find the uh best time that you can uh, that you want to use maybe it's uh it, it requires an hour but you can see what a non-heated vapor smooth technique can do for your abs prints and this will save so much time on sand it's amazing.
So that's it. The vapor smooth mess method versus non vapor smooth method. And this box was only like six bucks to create and five liters of acetone that cost me like 20 bucks. Uh, you can get them in liter bottles also. So it's, it's really cheap to make. There is one thing though that I would like to bring to your attention. Uh, I bought this by accident. It's acetone and it says eco on it, acetone eco. And this stuff does not work for vapor smoothing. It, you kind of can recognize it by the ingredients and it's like a mixture of stuff and it's only irritating to the skin. It's not flammable and you need the pure acetone that is flammable, that's lit. You know, uh, otherwise this won't work. So stay away and watch the label. Do not buy the eco stuff. You need the pure acetone that is flammable. You need that for the vapor smoothing. And it works well and it's pretty safe to do in this method because you don't heat up the acetone to get the vapor. You just enclose the vapor that's coming off of it in a small closed case or area, if you will. And it gets amazing results as you just saw. Like I previously said, get one of these respirators. It is the best investment you can buy as a maker or a cosplayer. Do not take this as a joke. Your health is number one in this matter. Uh, I just went away for like hours on end in between takes and right now, there is still vapor in this box and I open it up and you can still smell it a little bit. So take caution when you still do this. It's still safe to do if you take proper safety measurements. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a thing or two again. This was a uh, fully 3D printed related and uh, this will save you a buttload of time in sanding. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who are also into printing with ABS so that it saves them a bunch of time also. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.